Hey, yeah, this is Thursday. Welcome to Scarpet Hacks. Today, I would like to talk about to you about why in 2022 I'm still using Emacs, this ancient editor from the 70s. So, this is a question I met a lot. I've been working for 20 years now, and every time I start a new job or when I was a consultant, every time I start a new project, I went to a new customer and was like, and everyone was using Eclipse and our uh, IntelliJ ID, and then looked at me and they saw I was using Emacs and I was like, oh, he's using Emacs, you know. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, it's all old fashioned. He doesn't have all the belts and whistles. Uh, you could be so much more effective. You could do so much more amazing work if you had used this Eclipse or this IntelliJ or these days it would be a Visual Studio Code. So if I was starting to do consultancy work and go to different places to, you know, go on about why are you using this Emacs? And I want to tell you why I am using it. And what you have to understand is that everything about Emacs is about speed. You want to eradicate anything that's between you, your brain and your thought and writing code, getting words and ideas in to materialize as code in your file on your computer. Uh, in a, you know. And so everything in Emacs is about speed from my point of view, you know, uh, Imagine that you have a word and you've just written the word like hello and you want to go back like one character. You normally use the left arrow key, right? Um, but Emacs, it has a shortcut for that because it's too slow for you to move your right hand down to the arrow key and press it to go left. You'd rather just stay on your home row and do a shortcut to go left. So in, in Emacs, that's by default control B. And this goes to apply to absolutely everything. Uh, you know, copy and paste uh, is just the tip of the iceberg. And if you're coming from, well, any other e editor than Vim or Emacs, you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but in Emacs and Vim, everything uh, can be done with a shortcut. And you have, you have shortcuts and you have ways of doing anything. And a lot of these things you didn't know was even possible because you, you haven't been given the tools before, right? So using Emacs is about that. It's about speed. It's about um, taking advantage of years and years, you know, decades worth of development and thought uh, into Emacs. And so just because you don't have the greatest Java refactoring tool that you will have in IntelliJ doesn't mean that you're absolutely rubbish if you're using Emacs to code. It just means you are emphasizing other parts of the editor. The editing experience is absolutely stellar. And another thing is that you have the same set of shortcuts. So the more you get into Emacs, the less you feel like going outside because it's so nice to be inside and you have shortcuts for absolutely everything. And it's all this comfort. So for me, I write my notes in Emacs, but I also do my Java programming, my Python programming, my shell programming, I write XML, CSS, all of that. And in addition to that, I use it for email. And this is a bit extreme. I do I do admit that it is a bit extreme to use Emacs for email. But many people do so. Thousands of people do it. And it's about these two things. It's about speed. It's about the comfort that you don't have to leave your one favorite program, your operating system fuel. <laughs> except that you don't have any device drivers. It, you know, beautiful environment to be and live in as a coder. Um, and that's why I use it for email. And then, of course, it's very, very fast. Uh, I'm using some called Move for A, um, all based on my search. Check it out if you feel like it. Um, but, you know, I do do um, agree it's a bit extreme to use it for email, but that's as far as I stretch it. It's great. Um, there's also built-in shells. Again, to ease the transition, you know, when you switch between coding, writing emails, writing notes, do your time tracking, and then you can also do your shell in there. But yes, that's when I'm still in 2022. I'm not lunatic. I'm using Emacs and I use it for pretty much everything except gaming and web browsing. All right, see you next time.